All right, I've gone in and blended the ports on the intake and exhaust on both heads. Just gonna get some light in there. Get an idea of what I'm talking about. It's just a rough cut. Got all the lumps taken out. Nice, uh, smooth merge. Let's see if we can get some more light. There we go. Feels a lot better now. You can tell the biggest difference by using your finger. Like I said, that, that'll tell you a lot. You just rub your finger down in there and you can feel the lumps and where it should come out at. Not getting very light on the exhaust here. But make sure the seat blends into the port, the pocket there. Everything's smoothed out. No speed bumps. All right, that's done on both heads. Now we're moving on to the exhaust. On the exhaust port, the outside, what I do is, well, this is upside down right now. Looking at the head this way. I don't touch the bottom, just the top, and somewhat on the sides. What I'm doing is opening it up to, you see the exhaust gasket here, where the black where it was. I open up just a millimeter or two inside of the stain there from where the exhaust had been flowing before, all the way around here. Give it about a D shape. It'll be flat on the bottom. Well, in this video right now, it's showing top, but I got the head upside down. That's the bottom. You want to just focus on the top. Now there's a lump right here inside the exhaust port. That's for coolant. You don't want to touch that. Well, you just smooth it down, but or not all the way down. Just smooth the, the outer edge of it, outer layer, but do not open it up. That's coolant flowing through there. You'll break open into water. So on these two over here, I've already started. Open it up just inside the lip, inside that line there. And then we'll go in and smooth it out inside there. Try to open it up on the uh, upper side of the port, which is upside down. It's the bottom side of the port right now. All right. 